Okay, up third we have the amazing Ponk and Hatch. Please welcome her to the stage. And I also want to shout out to this fabulous suit. Very chic, as always. Raise your hand if you ever built or extended a house. Okay, many of you. Keep your hands up if you use an architect. Oh, wow. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Today, I'm talking about the software architects use to make pen like this. It's known as CAT software. This is an undisturbed market, and I need your help to break it. Hi everyone, I'm Bong and I'm a trained architect. In 2006, I was in my third year at uni. That was when we used drawing software for the first time. I remember it was so unintuitive. Everything was so complicated to draw. After I graduated, I worked as an architect for 10 years. I found out my colleagues had similar horror stories. Today, as the world moves forward with tools like Google Docs and Figma, the CAD software market has stayed the same. It was invented 40 years ago, and it even looks the same. <laughs> Imagine for a second, if everyone switches to an iPhone, but you are stuck with a Nokia 3310. <laughs> That's architect. <laughs> Instead of WhatsApp, they have to settle for like, snake? <laughs> Although, that is a great game to be fair. <laughs> I have spoken to architects. There are three main problems with all CAD software today. First is file format. People need specific software to look at files. New version of software come out every year. So the problem repeats. Second, collaboration. Designing architecture is collaborative. Even on small projects like houses, Architects always work with Arthur. Keeping everyone in the loop means passing files back and forth. Changes are difficult to track. Third, computing power. These software need powerful computers to run. That doesn't come cheap. One studio told me they spent 6,000 pounds per computer every time they upgrade. That was a 50 person studio, so that 300,000 pounds every two years. Imagine spending that, it's crazy. So, five format, collaboration and computing power. Architects face these problems every day. At Hatch, we thought all this needed a reboot, so we're rebooting it. We are creating a new tool, one with architects at the heart. It works in a web browser, from anywhere, on any device, and we are focused on collaboration. For the first time, team can draw together in true, real time. People should be able to click a link and know everything about building. A building. We are early on our journey. 
and regaining traction. Next year, we have organized a workshop with students from the Bartlett. We, have also, we also have um, got 27 architecture firms from my personal networks waiting to try hat when we are ready. We're looking to launch in December 2022. Our team has the understanding and technical expertise to make hash big. You heard about me and the architects. The CTO is my talented tech savvy partner. He's started a UX agency. He designs and builds internal tools for companies like the BBC, ITV and Burberry. I am really excited. Thanks to the Design Museum, we are ready for our pre-seed round. So come and join our journey. To the angels and the VCs in the room, if I got your attention and you can help us launch, please come and say hi to everyone here today. Thank you for listening. Please help us spread the word by signing up to our mailing list, following us on social, and telling your friend about Hatch. Stay tuned for Hatch because I'm bong and I'm changing architecture. Thank you.